Hey everybody, it is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I'm so glad that you're here. And if you've been following along with my move, you know it's been a doozy. But I spent a long time yesterday afternoon in my workroom, which from your angle looks like maybe the same as it always has been, but I promise. I've been doing a lot of work in here and I'm really excited. I wanted to show you guys around and kind of give you an idea of where I'm at now and where I have it kind of going, where my, my ideas are going with it. So it's not totally done, but it's almost there. Yong, you won me. Congratulations. You get to spend a few minutes with me today. <laughs> so I am live. And if you're here live, hi, thanks for coming to hang out. And if you're watching later, thanks for coming to watch. Hey, Jeff, it is a work in progress. Okay. For real. So it is, but it looks way better than it was. Okay, so I'm gonna it, apologies in advance if it's a little bouncy, but I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick you up. Haha, <laughs> picking you up. All right, so here it is. I, this is my laptop. So here, look, look, you can see the floor. Ha! Ah, it's the floor. <coughs> but I have been unpacking a lot. Um, a messy work in progress. Yeah. Okay, so this is my my question mark area. Probably gonna be my like packing area. But for now, it's got some of my collectibles up here, my reference books and things. Up top, I've got some, those are like chess boards and stuff. Yeah, and here, you can't see that, I have to tilt it. I've got, like, these are the glasses where I'm storing glasses that I'm gonna sell. They're not listed yet. Uh, and then lights and things. Let's see what I have. Then I've got a couple of jewelry boxes that I'm going to sell. And down in there, I've got more packing supplies, right? Then these are, this area is like empty storage stuff for jewelry because I hoard them apparently. I didn't realize. Uh, where's my Harry Potter stuff? Wait, just wait. <laughs> um, yeah, so I pick these up all the time like at garage sales because I always need them. But now I'm like, maybe I don't always need them because I have all of these. So, <laughs> never trust an organized seller. <laughs> okay, so then, um, so I've got some big empty tubs up there. Um, and then this is my like jewelry stuff. Okay, so that's all like jewelry stuff that I need to organize. Hi, hi, everybody. Um, I'm getting there. It's getting there, picky chick. So, of all my jewelry stuff, all that I have, this is my listed, this is listed, and this is listed. And these are some lots that I have listed. And then this is my like taking pictures of jewelry stuff. So look, I can find it now. Yay. Um, and then all of this is like unlisted jewelry. I only have a little, just a little bit, right? Um, hi, Heather. Hi, Joni. Hi, everybody. Uh, let's see. And then this, this is my light. Oopsies. From when I'm, I'm going to do videos again, normal videos. And my, you know, my shadow box thingies. You can't see that. And then this is all like stuff that was in my shadow boxes and other other stuff. Sorry for the bounciness. Okay, now the other stuff I've got, I've got some tubs. See, there's those two. That's unlisted inventory. That's just like random stuff like purses and vintage stuff. Um, and then this stuff here, same thing. Can you see? Oh, the light's really bad because it's behind you. Um, let me see if I can get down. Here we go. So like... This tub down here is full of full of these because <laughs> I have a bunch of them. So that tub down there is full of these. And then like these two are full of jewelry boxes that I need to list. Um, do I have a special place? I have many special places. Do I know where they are right now? I think they're in that tub over there, right there. Um, again, like more unlisted inventory. And then y'all <laughs> here, here, this is like fabric for when I finally get to sew again. And then all of this is like my collectible stuff. Harry Potter stuff and and then that's more Harry Potter stuff. So I have a lot of Harry Potter stuff. So DBS, I have to decide, do I want to keep that much Harry Potter stuff? But it's not just Harry Potter stuff. Look, you can see there's like firefly stuff in there but i don't have it displayed i don't have anywhere to display it right now i don't know and then this is all like sewing stuff that's my sewing machine my sewing table and then in here this is the bathroom yes i have my own bathroom look 
hang on. Let me turn it around so you can see. Like that's all my shipping stuff. For now, it's in the bathtub because I didn't know where else to put it. So it's in the bathtub. <laughs> I know I have to figure it out, Debbie. And then here's my, all that Star Wars and GI Joe stuff that I got. That I don't know. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it. And then here's my giant hoard of Lego and stuff. This is like games and Legos and stuff. And then like all the slides, my grandmother's slides and movies and things. So, yeah. and then next, uh, oh, good, Connie. Good, let you know fly by things. <laughs> keep it, keep it. Um, so then this part, I'm sorry, I'm swinging you all the way around. This is like all homeschool stuff. So this is all of that. And then this is finished organizing. That's our reel-to-reel -reel projector over there. Yeah, so I'm almost done. And then I can start, here's my table where I've been sitting, my little work table right there. So yeah, I got this, uh, I'm so excited to have this room. First of all, it gets really hot because it's one of the rooms that was, I guess, added on. Look, my cheeks are already red from moving around in here. So this is one of the rooms. Somebody asked about the, um, your man, Mr. Mark says your shipping stuff is in your bathroom downstairs. Yeah. Um, so it, some of it might stay in there. I don't know. I am live. Um, do your photos in the bathtub. I've seen others. Flat wall, shower curtain. Ah, that's a good idea. Because really, I was like, where am I going to set up, right? Um, but that's a good spot for it, right? I could get the lights in there. And I was hoping to get, you know, some of my shipping stuff, like in these cupboards down here. In the wooden ones, you can't. Or something behind in front of that um so there's that what was i going to say i was saying something else yeah it's going to feel so good connie because i tell you what every time i went to print something like a label for shipping there was like a mountain of stuff i was having to climb over every time and then i was shifting stuff and then like if i was trying to get out of the room i was now i was going to climb over it because i moved it and i'm like i can't do this anymore it's driving me nuts so it's almost done. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But I was, um, gosh, I was about to say something else, and now I've forgotten. What was it? What was it? That's going to drive me nuts. Um, but, yeah, it's almost there. And I think, I think what I'm going to do with my Harry Potter stuff, because I have this, my, let me see if you can see it. Uh, uh, hang on. Hang on. It's going to get wobbly. This, like, this chest. Um, that I keep stuff in, whether it's jewelry, I don't even know what's in there right now because I was moving nothing really. Um, but I don't want to bring in another table and I don't want to put it on this table because if I put it on this table, it's going to block the windows and block the light, right? So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Harry Potter tabs and put them over here and like make a little mini platform and to put that on, to put that little dresser thing, chest thing on. Um, so I can keep my Harry Potter stuff because I need it for to make a little table. Um, let's see. Don't feel bad. I have my own bathroom too, but there's a shelving unit and there were shipping supplies. Yeah, yeah. That's the way my basement is. It's a mountain. Oh, gosh, yeah. So I was going to tell you something else, and now I can't just send the GI Joe starter stuff to me. I'll take care of it. Yeah, I don't – I'm tempted because – we our neighborhood is having a garage sale like a neighborhood wide garage sale next weekend and honestly i'm tempted just to take it and sell it in the garage sale because i got it for like next to nothing i think ever at the garage sale where i bought where i got the gi joe stuff and the star wars stuff i think i i can't remember i spent 10 or 20 bucks but it was on that stuff i mean the guy was honestly just like just take it and then a whole bunch of another a bunch a whole bunch of other stuff you've had it for i have had it forever I'm nervous to ship it. That's the problem. It's like really brittle vintage, like, you know, plastic brittle vintage plastic is real brittle, you know? Oh, I remember now what I was going to tell you the AC stuff. Cause it's hot in here. My, so somebody had asked about the AC. That's what it was. Um, the rest of the house AC is working fine now. I don't know if you saw the whole AC thing that we had the conundrum. Um, but two of the rooms are add ons this room and then one downstairs, look at my cheeks are so red from being in here. Um, and so the air doesn't like really pump in here. They didn't, I guess they didn't, they didn't do it right. They didn't duct it out right. I don't know. So we're going to, we're seeing about getting a split system. Um, and then the downstairs room is the one that we got the whole, the whole reason we got the house. is So we had a mother-in-law room downstairs for my mom, right? 
Um, so we're going to see about getting an electrician to run a line so we can get a mini split system. And because this room is right above the one that needs it as well, they can put in this just a little, it's so it'll be on its own little system, right? Um, my, my listed stuff. Yeah, Heather. <laughs> sure. I should do a whole separate video on that, right? So this is my listed jewelry. Can you see it okay? So like nice pendants, pendants, pins, like GT stands for gold tone cufflinks. So if I have a gold tone cufflink that sells, it's in there. Um, B is for bracelets, you know, bracelets that I have listed. Now, if they're big and they won't fit, then I have them in, in this tub. So those are like chunky or big bracelets. Same thing with necklaces. And then this is where I keep my rings that are listed in here. My rings are in there that are listed. So, yeah. And when I bought this, I thought I was going to fill up way more because I have so much more jewelry. So I bought, like, let's see if you can see those black ones there. It's more of them, of those. So when I finally get more listings up, um, I'll have those ready for me to put stuff in. So, <laughs> yeah, no problem. Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I was going to show you. It's almost done. When, it, when I finally get it all the way done and the homeschool stuff organized, I'll come back and show you again and, like, get my, my fun stuff on the wall. Okay, so tell me what you think. My boys want to do a green screen in here, but I think that might be weird, right, if I'm, like, doing a video and I have a green screen and, like, I can just be doing a video and be on the beach or whatever. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I, and I've got another one, like, let's see, there's like that blue one right there. That one I got at a, a garage sale, and it's got little drawers in it, too. I find them all the time. How many listings are in your store on average? Um, I've got 200 right now, I think, on my Etsy store. I don't know about eBay. Probably around the same. But I, you know, I, I've got my shops turned back on, and I haven't been listing yet. So, so sales are not amazing at all. <laughs> green screen could be fun. Yeah, my guy, my guys really want to do a green screen. I guess I could just run like a a pole up there, you know, because the wall sits back, so I could get like a shower rod or something or a spring rod, you know, and like put it up there, so I could take it down whenever I wanted and just like pretend like I'm flying in space, which you guys might think I do anyway. I don't know. Um, let's see. <laughs> I think it would be so goofy, but yeah, it would be fun. All right. I wanted to show you guys that stuff and show you how it's been going. And then, you know, now, cause I, I feel like I can't like get moving forward until things are organized. Cause I get frustrated when I can't find things or find things quickly or easily. <sighs> Trying to find the labels when I was, cause I made some sales and then I had the jewelry auction and I couldn't find the labels. For the printer oh my gosh so it just drove me nuts trying to find everything i don't like that <laughs> i don't like that mm -hmm. okay so that's pretty much it i just wanted to come on and share with you guys um how it's been going and the progress in the room and i'll let you know gosh i gotta i'm getting i'm getting people to send me electricians you know I, I asked in my neighbor like my neighborhood has a facebook group you know so i asked in there like please i need a reliable electrician <laughs> we've had some pretty pretty bad luck with uh contractors as you may have guessed I, i've had more stuff go on that i just quit telling you guys about because it's yeah i figured everybody was sick and tired of hearing all the my, my moaning about my house woes and all the crazy contractors that I've had to deal with, but there's been more. I just haven't shared it. Um, okay. <sighs> I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, I haven't gone out thrifting or garage sailing um, because of the way, the state of my room and like just knowing I've got so much junk in here. But now that it's looking better, I know my neighborhood's having a garage sale next weekend. Yeah, you'd like to hear about it, but you're a realtor. It was bad. Okay, maybe I'll tell you. Um, yeah, but I, I'm just like, I may have my guys man the garage sale here while, so I can go. I have so much crap. I do have a lot of crap. It's true. 
Jeff, it's true. So we we have this, you know, our, our, our I'm gonna tell you another like, it's not a horror story, but it's kind of like annoying. Um, we have this wrought iron fence, right? And it backs up into a green space. And a lot of our neighbors have like gates that go out. So I wanted to get a gate because you have boys that play in the backyard. Yes, yeah, story time. <laughs> My guys play in the backyard, right? If something goes over um, the fence, they would have to go out the front door and down the block, around like behind the other houses to get whatever goes over the fence, right? So I was like, okay, we called three different companies to come give us a bid on putting in a gate out there. And um, so they all came out, but then only one of us got back, one of them got back to us with a bid. So we did that. We paid for getting the fence because they were going to have to get it like specially whatever made and then cut it out. I don't know. Anyway. Um, and then like three weeks goes by and I don't hear anything. So I call, you know, and it's just like story after story, like, Oh, they didn't, you know, the people that they caught, they had to like send it off with the specs to get it like made a certain way. Well, five weeks go by and it's just, I mean, I'm getting one story after another. It's just, it was like, it was like pulling my hair out. So finally, my, I get my husband a call. Okay, ladies, you, I think you know where this is going. My husband calls, and by the time he hangs up, he's got a date for when they're coming, um, the whole story, like the whole like, okay, it's done. Like he calls one time, and boom, it's it's handled. What's up with that, right? So anyway, <laughs> they show up, and the gate that or the the fence piece that they bring it matches my fence piece but it's like a foot too tall, right? So whoever measured it, <laughs> not good when dad calls, right? When If I was at home, I'd have my dad call. So um, whoever measured to get this gate piece like built, didn't know how to measure because it was like a foot taller than all the other like panels on the, on the fence. Oh, so they had to take it away and fix it and come. I mean, it was just like, it took forever. It's the law of the universe. Fine, Jeff. If that's the law of the universe, I'm going to have you call next time. <laughs> Anytime I have trouble with a man contractor, I'm going to have Jeff call. Just putting that out there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was it was nuts. It was just nuts. So, finally, it's like six weeks later, we finally got the gate put into the fence. <sighs> Yeah, I just I quit telling you guys about all this stuff because it was just unbelievable. <laughs> but believe it's ha it's happening anyway. So there's that. Okay, so yeah, um, I and so the reason I didn't continue on with the air conditioner stuff yet was because I was still dealing with the fence stuff, and I thought, you know what, I can't handle one more contractor in my life. I'm waiting until I get all of this AC stuff squared away. And then I'm going to start calling the fence guys and like really getting after them. Like, where is this fence? Where is my gate? Did I get a discount? No, <laughs> I didn't get a discount. So then I'm like, okay, I'm not even going to bother calling an electrician until I get these things like done. Because I can't handle having that many contractors in my life at one time. Maybe that's why I was going so crazy before because I really did have like all the contractors. Do I have a favorite type of jewelry? From personally, I wear mostly earrings, rings, and bracelets. I don't like stuff around my neck. I have a few necklaces, but I don't wear a whole lot of them because I don't like things pulling on my neck. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my story. And that's my hangout. I'm going to go because we're going to go to the movies. I'm excited. We're going to go see The House with a Clock in the Wall. I'm excited because I really like to go to the movies a lot. So there's that. All right. Um, but I'll be back tomorrow, I'm sure, with something or other <laughs> to hang out with you guys about. Um, but, yeah, thanks for coming. Gotcha. And a theme to oh, theme to my favorite kinds of jewelry. Oh, you're going to. Um, what kind of jewelry do I like? I don't know. Eclectic? Uh, I don't have any rings on. I like bangles. I like feminine looking jewelry, usually like feminine looking jewelry. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. So that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Say, oh, you're going tonight too, Heather. Oh, good. Enjoy. Enjoy. Contractor, right? Right. There used to, I don't know, maybe there still is a store. There was a store, I guess it's still around called Cons. 
you know, and they sell appliances and stuff like that. I'm like, that's like right in the name, right? Cons. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to be calling an electrician this week. So wish me luck because <laughs> I need, I need some lines run. Okay. I will talk to you guys soon and have a great, great rest of your evening. Bye everybody.